This is the Sim DT sequential shifter and AliExpress pickup. Looking quite nice out of the box. Um, so we have uh, aluminium and carbon fiber. Also some 3D printed parts as well, which uh, I'll show you in a moment. But you can see that is a carbon fiber plate covering some aluminium on both sides. So you can just see it is two layers. That's the socket for the cable running to your PC. Nice chunky handle. The 3D printed parts are this sort of uh, inner lining of the handle there. So you can see the 3D printed texture. So it runs all the way down to the handle. And also uh, this lever, this switch is also 3D printed. So you don't often get um, extra switches on sequential shifters, so that's nice to see. Uh, and that's used if, if the game supports um, a neutral, um, you can map neutral into the game. So if you, you know, if you want to like sixth gear and you want to kind of get to neutral quickly, you flip that. So uh, yeah, some sequential shifters, high end shifters sometimes get come with an extra switch there like that, but uh, most don't, but that's good to see. There's a very tiny amount of play. I'd say it is stiff. You're not going to really feel that. But yeah, very, very tight. Only a tiny bit of movement there, but it's certainly not loose. Tension feels actually quite nice. Um, it's not really adjustable. Um, I did try. As you can see, we do have these uh, screws here, and they push on to these ball bearings and that's what gives the snap tension of course you have these return springs here are they simcat normally with grub screws like this you tighten them or loosen them to adjust the tension as they push onto springs that push into the ball bearings which uh, provide the snap kind of feel they're as far in as they can go so this is the maximum amount of tension and i would suggest you're going to leave it as it is there's nice tension but you won't want it any lighter um, quite honestly so that feels actually quite nice decent amount of travel good travel feels pretty good to me so have a look at that feels quite solid I'm liking that um, I would say I'm not massively happy about this wire here so that wire runs up the handle and goes to this lever here and it's quite a fine flimsy wire now it's not sticking out beyond the body but it is there, and if you were to you know, somehow mishandle it, snag it, um, it looks a bit too fragile and that could break. There's also another wire down there which runs to the micro switch. There's a micro switch on either side, which is obviously for the, you know, the up and down shifting mechanism. But that wire is a little bit more deeper inside and hidden away, so that one's okay. But yeah, this one flaps around a bit. Not massively keen about that. Preferred it to be maybe a thicker wire or just better concealment of it since it is slightly you know, exposed, but it should be okay unless you uh, somehow get your fingers in there and grab away, but hopefully that shouldn't be the case. Um, the micro switches are pushed by a little peg there, which I think you might be able to see that little silver piece there shining through, so that hits the micro switches um, on either side. And that's essentially how it works. Yeah, not bad feeling, um, a little bit loud. Some people might be okay with it. Some people don't like loud hardware. So you have to live with that since it does make a you know fairly loud click when you uh, move through the shifts. That's quiet, but that's unavoidable. That's the snap of those ball bearings there inside. It feels quite nice and a nice size as well. I do like a full size shifter uh, when it comes to sequential shifters. It just gives you a beefier feel, feels more authentic. So I like that and a very nice chunky handle there as well with some uh, grip in there. So yeah, pretty good. Looking quite nice. Price seemed okay. Um, this is kind of going up against the Simjack sequential shifter. Between them, it's hard to say. You might you know ask me which one I'd recommend. Well, I haven't reviewed this one yet, so I can't give you my final verdict. I need to get it mounted and used. 
uh, but maybe I'll mention that in the review. But yeah, I'd say it depends on what you're after. You know, the Simjack Squench Shifter is, is probably about that sort of size. This one's obviously a bit bigger, so it gives you that full size feel. The Simjack Squench Shifter though is really, really good. So I can highly recommend that one, which I have reviewed. And um, this one looks, I think, pretty good for the money so far. You know, really can't complain. It's under £100. I think it's running about, depending, you know, you know, time of year when you buy it, the prices are fluid and they fluctuate a little bit. I think I paid £72 for this. Um, so, you know, if you go to AliExpress now, there's a link in the description. You may find it's maybe a little bit more. It may be the sort of price I paid. But, yeah, that's the kind of thing about AliExpress. The prices do go, you know, do change a little bit. But I think I've got this. I picked this up at the lowest possible price you're going to find. At 72 but I don't think it's running at 72 right now but I haven't checked today there you go guys so that's my first look at this one um, I will go in my review queue and we'll get a review out there in the near future but for now that's my last look at this uh, sim DT sequential shifter there you go thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one take care happy simming and bye bye